Welcome to JSA TV, the newsroom for tech and telecom professionals. I'm Jamie Scott Obataya, here at Telecom Exchange, New York City 2017. Joining me, my good friend, Mr. Frank Gray. He is the Director of Network Acquisition Group over at Microsoft. Frank, welcome to JSA TV. Hi, Jamie. Very good to see you again. Thank you very much for the invitation. Oh, thank you for coming here uh, and also for speaking on our roundtable panel. We're talking a lot today on the floor of Telecom Exchange about innovative partnerships and interconnectivity. Certainly, you are the thought leader in this field, having both the telecom and the technology background. You're our, our go-to guy, if you will, on, on this type of topics. What can we see? What, what do you see as, uh, as happening in that in that space? You know, well, we're really excited about some of the new platforms that we see coming out, and anything that we feel advances the the global digital transformation we see as a very positive for the market, both for consumers and enterprises alike. So, you know, we're happy to see the spread of these platforms. Um, we're excited at Microsoft with some of the technology that we're bringing out to move the Azure stack closer to the edge, closer to our end users. You know, and we're, you know, we're keeping a close eye on how these technologies develop and the impact that it has for our end users as well as our services and the performances of their mission critical workloads. Right, yes. And, um talking uh, Microsoft and you know I just read an announcement that you guys put out recently about your Xbox One X and how it is just offering true 4k gaming which kind of blew my mind and um, and I'm thinking wow Microsoft is really driving so much bandwidth consumption globally it started really making me think is our network infrastructure prepared and ready for this how are we looking towards the future there so I think that we we have, we, you know, there's definitely going to be some issues in some places, you know, in the, in the mobile space, wireless connectivity, you know, but for the most part, I think like anything in life, it's going to be a mixture of different things, especially in our business, it's going to be a mixture of different, different technologies, uh, and we feel that we are positioned very well in that, you know, as being a hybrid cloud provider, uh, having a hybrid type of solutions for connectivity fits well into what we're doing, you know, but I think that there's enough infrastructure out there today to... To, for us to maximize, to get enough bandwidth out. But there are going to be some investments that we need. Uh, but like I said, it, it's going to be a mixture of, of, of different solutions for customers. Last time, Frank, we had you here on JSA TV, you had announced the uh, partnership with Facebook to deploy Morea, your subsea cable uh, system from Virginia to Spain. So can you tell us what's the latest there? Yeah, so we were just out at the landing last week. Everything is moving along very nicely. The project is going along on, on target, on schedule. Uh, the landing went wonderfully last week, uh, and so I was out there, got a chance to see the boat, hold on to the cable, so that was great. And it's always nice to take something that you do, and we live in a very virtual world, so to be able to have something very physical that you can put your hands on is always really nice. But it's all moving along very nicely. We still plan to finish construction by the fall of this year, and we're just very excited about the additional resiliency and diversity that it plans on bringing to the, to the infrastructure. Fall of this year is yeah. still on track. I mean, that might make some type of subsea uh, first, first in terms of speed to, to market. Like I've never heard of a subsea cable yeah. moving so fast. That's incredible. Well, that was part of the you know what we, one of the drivers that we were working on. You know, as I've been saying, you know, we've met a few times. I keep talking about how the the time to market, the development cycles are getting faster and faster in today's digital economy, but the, in, the time to develop our infrastructure, you know, it seems to be getting longer and longer or it's not getting any shorter. So this was an attempt by us to show that there's another model, there's another way to do it and you know, to maximize speed in order to make sure that we get the right infrastructure in place to support, you know, today's digital economy. Next year I'm going to have a little JSA TV trophy, like <laughs> fastest subsea cable ever to, to, prevent, uh, to present to you. Talking next year, I don't know if this is too forward looking, but what can we see from Microsoft in the next six months to a year? Well, I mean, we're definitely going to continue developing all of our services and bringing out a lot of new features to the market, um, not only in, on Azure with our cloud services, but with Exchange, Dynamics, Xbox. But from, you know, from a network perspective and from the telecom perspective, the focus is really on resiliency um, and availability. We want to develop and continue to develop and innovate in our cloud and our infrastructure to ensure that we provide the most reliable infrastructure and the most reliable cloud that our customers can get on the market. So that's really the major, major focus for us as we kick off our new fiscal year this coming July. Uh, well, we're looking forward to seeing 
uh, your technology, your, your um, cloud services hit the market and, uh, and our telecom marketplace is ready for it. So thank you so much, Frank, for thank your you. time and joining us. And thank you viewers for tuning in to JSA TV. Thank you.